Hey, it's Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bart. Glenn Goyne, 10 year. Ooh, we're going to test it. Grogu style, baby. Grogu. Okay, so uh, Grogu was a 3D printed Christmas yeah, ornament from right. Eric. He's in his little his yeah. little packing crate. Is that a blue one and a red one? Yeah. I'm keeping the blue one. You got the red one. I like it. Red's my favorite color. <laughs> Glenn Goyne, 10 year, 43% ABV, if I remember right. 43. 10. It's on there somewhere. They talk about how they do it in their own time. Matured in our own time. They do it in their own time. That is true. They don't rush it. They just, they let it relax. Lighter color. Yes. So, uh, we've done Glenn going 12, cask strength, 15, 18, 21. 21. Um, well, we've never done the 10. 10 being, of course, the entry um, version from them here. I believe all the Glenn Goins that we've had have been double casked. Really? They've been uh, in an ex-bourbon cask and then a finish or a maturation period in that? sherry. Yeah, it um, is 43. They hit it right over there. There you go. So. Okay. Well, because generally McAllen's, Glendronics, mm -hmm. they are more exclusive sherry maturation. Glen Goines are uh, usually a sherry finish. So the 25 year could be different. The 25 Glen Goin could be an exclusive maturation. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I think I've only had a sample of that one. I purge all that from my mind as soon <laughs> as I've had it. Like you're like the 25. I'm like, mm -mm. We had that. And you're like, yeah, August of 05. I'm like, what? How do you know that? 05. Yeah, I know, I'm just saying stuff. I don't know. That would have, we were doing it, what, 03, right? And that one? No. What am I talking about? Now I'm in La La Land. 2013. Um, light, light malty citrus. Yeah. See, I get a little more, I get light citrus, heavy malt, is okay. what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay, uh, we adjusted just for focus. It's jumping around for some reason. <laughs> <clears throat> if Tell we like were, me. if we were, we noticed we were out of focus. If we were out of focus for an extended period, there apologies. It means you've been drinking too. Hopefully, much. it's fixed. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Come back, baby. Come back. <laughs> um, yeah, citrus yeah, heavy malt. Is malt is I heavier. Mean. Citrus yeah. in the background. Vanillas. No sherry notes jumping out at me if this is sherry uh, finished at all. It is a lighter color. The color on this tends me to believe it's just ex bourbon. Yeah. Um, Ooh. And of course, we don't do the research. I like this, so you have so to. So you have to. This yeah. is good, though. Yeah. Um, the malt, again, uh, a fresh mown hay. What? It's doing it again. I don't know what's going on. And I changed it. All right, we're going to try pushing through. You just keep an eye on it. The maltiness yeah. here, I really enjoy. So I get that fresh mown hay in there, um, like a uh, like a, like the the hay is still warm. If you've ever bought, been by a, a big round hay bale, which we're by here in Kansas every once in a while, that they're they're kind of still cooking inside, and that's what I kind of feel here. Very nice palate up front for ten year forty three percent. Mm -hmm. More caramel showing, more vanillas, more citrusy sweetness. Oh, wow. A little malty still. Oh, yeah, I love the malt here. I'm not picking up as much of, uh, I'm not, I was expecting a little more vanilla. But boy, is that a nice, heavy malt. Wow. Mm. Mm. I'm just going to look. I'm guessing oh, like this it. is just ex bourbon cask. Yeah, I would bet. I I'm not don't get any sherry up. notes here at all. Mm -mm. You want to drop? Uh, yes. Man, I'm, I'm digging them all. Um, well, you're reading that the even the finish is this lingering multi finish, which it's fresh mown hay on the front. The finish of the malt is kind of this. Um, I get a little bit of lemon, and then it's almost a cross between still that hay bale and like you're you're mowing the lawn. <laughs> so I'm smelling the taste, or I'm tasting the smell, I guess. 
but yeah, that is it. It's so it's a, the like a it's like a, a warm hay bale. Wow, with lemon. Yeah, no information in here on here on, on cask type at all. So, mm. but I don't get if there if there is any sherry finish here. I don't get it. I'm not getting it. I like it. I would expect it to be slight for a ten year old. Um, mm. No indication, like I say, whatsoever. But it, the color doesn't show indicative of mm. of, uh, of sherry finishing. I think Glen Goyne is non. Eh, it might be chill filtered. Uh, that should be natural color. I should have been looking Could at that when I had the box up. Um, natural color. Okay. It does say that. Goodness. Got a little burping, Jack? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. I do not like the burping. And matured in our own time. Is about mm -hmm. it. But, mm -hmm. um, all right. I like that. You can, I like the multi flavors. You can have it. You Thank you. It. Mm -hmm. I like it too, but you know, know what? I, know. I don't need as much whiskey as I got. Mm, I like the way you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing course, we haven't said. We, we usually split bottles. Yeah, we do. I've we been sending split, more yeah, his way. Sending some, but that's fine. I had to move, and yes, I, when I moved yes. all my bottles, I realized I don't need this much whiskey. Yeah, I know. Anytime you got to move, it's... Blah. Someday Bart's going to have to move, and he's going to be like, I don't need this much whiskey. Don't put me in the home. Don't put me in the home. Um, I'm ready to score. <laughs> Good point. I was getting ready to go into the merch. Um, <laughs> I, 88. I really like this. I like the multi flavors. You got to know that's what you're getting coming in, but ooh, love it. 87. Okay. Yeah. Just All right. Yeah. This really hit me. Uh, I, and I anticipated, I thought there'd be more vanilla, but it's malt, malt, and some more malt with a smidgen of lemon. Mm. Citrus, pear, apple. Mm. Yeah, I like but it. no, uh, all online there for a 10, probably the best or definitely one of the best 10-year-olds mm. single malts that you'll, mm. that you'll yeah. find. Yeah, I wasn't sure what to expect, actually. Yeah. And I like it. I like I it. Like it a lot. I do like my Glen Goins a little bit better that do have that sherry cask match or, or a finish showing. Sure. But. Got it. Um, so. Um, $40. Oh. Like it even more. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good price. That is a good price. Yes. Um, if you like the show, all right, you can go to Patreon. Look up Scotch Test Dummies. You can support for as little as a dollar a month. If you do two dollars or more, we shout your name out with gusto. 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 It's gusto. All right. And then what are you? What do you got? Merch wise. ScotchTestDummies.com. Go to ScotchTestDummies.com. We've got hats, shirts, glasses, coins, dropper sets, all kinds Not of stuff. Hat. It helps Not support the hat. show. <laughs> dummy hat. Keeps the lights on. Keeps the whiskey coming. We did. This bottle was purchased with what we call dummy funds. Dummy funds. So when you support us, that's where the money goes. Dummy funds. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Solange. Dummies. Nice.